Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. For farmers to manage their fields, it's very similar to how you manage your own health. You have to take a blood test now and then. When a doctor takes a look at you, if he wants to find out what's going on with your body, he likes to take a blood test and he says, oh, this is a little out of whack, and here's a medication we can prescribe to fix it, or here's a diet that we can prescribe, or here is something we can do in terms of exercise to try and get things better. For farmers in their fields, they take soil tests to help diagnose what's going on. On a soil test, a farmer can learn all kinds of different things, just like you can in your blood test. One of the most important things, and in fact the most important thing we always talk to farmers about, is looking at the soil pH. What we want for a soil pH in most crops, the ideal is about 6.8. 7 on the pH scale is neutral, so just slightly on the acidic side of neutral, that's about ideal, and we want to be roughly 6.3 to 7.3. In that kind of range, we don't have a lot of pH issues. But if a farmer had a 5 pH or an 8 pH, he's losing significant yield in almost any crop he's going to raise. We've got to get that soil pH fixed, and that's obviously something the farmer can do once he knows he has the problem. Well, one other thing that farmers will look at on a soil test is something called base saturation. And what it does is it really compares a ratio of nutrients. So you may say, well, you're really high in calcium, but how high is that compared to magnesium and compared to potassium and sodium and hydrogen? It's the same thing on your blood test that you may look at what your cholesterol level is. Well, is it your good cholesterol or is it the bad cholesterol and what's the ratio between the two? Farmers are looking at these ratios in their soils as well to figure out how they need to address certain issues. One of the big concerns for non-farmers is that farmers may be over applying fertilizer. And for some reason, fertilizer, which is just plant food, has gotten a negative connotation. I don't understand how that can possibly be, but I imagine it's just like here in the United States where, you know, around the rest of the world, food is viewed as this thing that everybody has to have. Here in the United States, we way overdo it, so we get all worried about, you know, people overeating. Trust me, farmers are not overusing fertilizer, and the reason why I say that is fertilizer costs a lot of money. The goal for a farmer is to stay in business. The goal is to make money, and he's not going to waste money on excess fertilizer. But what a farmer can do to know how much fertilizer his soil can hold at any one time is a test called cation exchange capacity. For example, if you take cation exchange capacity and multiply that number times 10, it will tell a farmer roughly how much nitrogen his soil can hold at any one time. One other thing that we would advise farmers to do on their soils to figure out how to fix things and how to treat their soils right is take a complete analysis. It's much like you. If you go to get just basic work done, like check your blood pressure, for example, that tells you a few things. But when they run a complete workup on your body, they can do a lot better job diagnosing what issues there are and dealing with them. For farmers, it's running tests on micronutrients as well as the big nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium that their crop is going to need. So once again, when we think about a blood test for a human being, it's about the same thing as a farmer doing a soil test. It's getting readings on a number of different things that are going to affect overall health. Because if we don't have a healthy soil, we are not going to have a healthy crop. Well, the other thing we'll have to do to have a good crop is stop weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 